Hello guys, welcome to my channel, this is Droke here. Just thought I'd uh, try out my, uh, my first ever live stream, so bear with me if it's a bit awkward and things like that, but um, yeah, so Dragon Age Inquisition, I've always liked this series of games. The first one I absolutely loved, the second one was even better, I've played uh, the second one so many times. But uh, when it came to this one, I tried this when it first came out, it was just a bit... Uh, I don't know. I couldn't just. I couldn't really get into it. I think it just seemed too daunting. There's so many side quests to do. But um, yeah, let's have a go. I've I've got a little bit into it. Um, uh, not too far. So let's get started and see what we can do. The bit I loved about this game was the character customization. Just the f um, it's so different to the last two. Obviously, in the uh, first one you had, okay. It was okay in that one, but the second one, uh, it was very limited. It was the gameplay I liked most about it, rather than the, uh, anything else. But this one, I just love it. I really like my character. So, where is she at? So there's my character. She's pretty hot. I've gone for an elf rogue on this one. I went for Rogue just because it's mostly uh, versatile. I, I wasn't sure which class to play, so I thought I'd go for the uh, one that you can switch between ranged and close combat. So you've got your Rogue dual daggers. Any point in the game, you can just uh, respec your character and then go straight back to being uh, an archer, ranged. I normally go for Mage, so I thought I'd try something different. I wasn't sure what to go for, so I thought I'd go for this one. Right, so let's see where we need to go. So... Which one am I doing? Ah, the Grey Wardens, yes. So we'll go down. Um, the thing I don't like about this game is the um, mini map. I'd rather have the map on the mini map for you so I can tell exactly where I'm going to be going. Because at the minute, I don't have a clue where I'm going. So I need to go south. Okay then. I don't know what kind of build I want to go for this one. It's. Um, it's weird, like, I think there's the Tempest is the specialisation that I can go for, which I'm thinking I'm going to go for. I like the sneakiness of the rogue, the stealth, the popping up behind someone, and the animation in this game is brilliant as well. So, let's see what we can do. Like, for example, ah, oh, I love that move. It's so, so good. I like the stats you get on this as well, so, if you flank an enemy... Uh, you get 200% weapon damage. Sometimes it'll be even as high as 400% weapon damage. It's so cool. This is something I haven't really used in this game as well. The tactical uh, camera here. I normally use it just for healing potions like that. But I don't know. I like being in the thick of it. I don't like pausing the game to do it. It does help sometimes. But no, I, I prefer being uh, real time. I'm going to avoid him. I tried to fight him. It didn't really go very well. Pretty much kills you one shot. Right, so... Does anyone actually... Do you get anything from them goats? I've never actually tried. Am I still in combat? There we go. Right, let's have a look then. This bit kind of reminds me of Skyrim, when you're on the horse and you're just trying to go over the mountains rather than around the path. I try and do that in every game. Let's kill the court and see what you get. I like this mount, I really do, but it's just... How wide is it? That, m that must hurt. That's got to hurt. Too fast. Many hours later. A goat. <gasps> you do get stuff from it. Leather. Right, I'm gonna go to a different spot. Right, let's see if I can uh, actually get into here then. I'm guessing it's gonna be in one of these huts. Aha! Is that it? Okay, I don't. I don't really read any of these either. But I'll put it up there just for you guys. Nope. The warden's here at some point. This camp was abandoned some time ago. 
I got the um, Game of the Year edition on this one as well, so you get all the uh, different sets of armor. So, I've got, um, hold on, that one. I think it looks really weird. I'm not really fond of the look for it, but it's got good stats on it for starting the game, so I thought I'd keep it. And that one as well, it's a bit weird. But again, good stats. I think the best one, I think, at the moment, is the Storm Bear armor. I think that looks really cool, especially for this uh, landscape that we're in. I got this one as well, medium of the dragon, uh, medium armor of the dragon. Sorry, it's. I don't know. It just. I don't think it suits my character, and it only uh, can only go on my character as well. So, but never mind. Right, let's see if there's anything around here. Then. Oh, some more stuff in here. Okay, cool. I have no idea what half of these items do or what you can do with them. I've yet to get another crafting as well. I think at the minute I'm just wanting to do the story and try and get that done. I want to find out what happens at the end. Ooh, hello. Our fruit. Wait, oh there. I was going to see. Right, where to now? I still think the second one's my favourite though. I I love being the major in that the combat's I think the combat's a lot more involved than this one. Although it's it's still sometimes um it's lacking that bit of action, like you you I know you range and you control on the battlefield, but I still sometimes just like to be in the thick of it up and avoid you. But no, you know what? Coming after my mount, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, I love this. Uh, how you auto stealth after that as well. So cool. I love all these uh, dirty tactics. I just want to hurry up and upgrade all my stuff. Do you want the flurry blades ability? I've had a look at that, and it looks awesome. You do like a hundred hits within five seconds. It's amazing. One down. I know a lot of people playing this game I've seen um, like to change from character to character and trying the different classes and stuff. Which I think sometimes if I get bored in the middle of the battle doing the same moves, I might change to Solus or whatever mage I've got in the party. But I don't know. I've just invested in my character. There's so many, t so much time just building it and it took a long time for me to <laughs> decide on my character layout. It's probably the longest part of the game on most RPGs. It's just the character selection and character customization but I'm just invested in it now. I don't want to spend all that time not to play. Where the heck? Oh, here we go. Where is it at? Now back to the first place where I couldn't find out where the heck it was. Okay, let's have a look. Where am I going? Oh, all the way back the other way. Sound. In fact, I might get this camp. Let's get this camp and fast travel back to it sometime soon, can't I? Yeah, and I think I might change my mind. The the nug I thought was uh was pretty cool. I just I don't know, I think the elk suits it a lot suits my elf a lot better. Um I whenever I play games like this I, I never go for human. I always go for something else. I think human I know you get um you get bonuses for starting as a human, you get the extra point to start, uh your skill I tree confess, sooner. So I, I just, I don't know, I think it's boring. You're playing an RPG game, I don't want to play something that I'm used to. So. Where's it gone? There it is. 
I tried out uh, a dwarf. I really like the dwarf, but I don't know. I always come back to elf. I love the elf. I love the uh, fact that I think it's coming back to Lord of the Rings with uh, Legolas with the bow and arrow. It's just so cool. Uh, which is normally what I go for, but I think I play ranged in all the games I play. Ah. Oh, that was lovely. I play ranged in all the games that I play, so I thought I'd go for uh, combat and get stuck in. Uh, sorry, close combat and get stuck into the fight there. I don't know, uh, let me know what you guys think, whether what classes you normally go for in RPGs. I know this one has a, a different one, all the others is called Kunari. And I was thinking about going for it. I just don't like the look of them. I just think they look really weird. I like the dwarf in the in the selections for your hairstyles and things like that in this game. I just don't think they were as good as the elf as well. But the canary look really strange. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what uh, kind of classes you normally go for and what kind of uh, uh, races you go for as well. Again, my next stream should be a bit more exciting now. Uh, have a few more skills unlocked and be able to fight a little bit more. See these cow traps I got? They're, they're good, they're okay, but I think got them to further my skill tree down the line rather than use the cow traps. Don't really see much use of them unless you run away, really. One sword is quite terrible. It's probably why I should use this a lot more. So where's she at? I taunt you. I don't even know what half the warrior's abilities do. I never pick warrior, to be fair, so... Varric, he's already used his abilities. I normally just go for behaviours and just let them do what they what they want to do. Yeah. I normally go for Mage being the um, dedicated healer. Uh, range just to defend, so go after the high risk targets. And then let me do what I want to do. Just play around the battlefield and stealth it. And get hit a lot, apparently. I do like the um, the rifts and how to close them and things like that. Really good thing to the game play. So now, with that done, um, I will be closing this video to an end, so thank you to all who's uh, joined, thank you for watching, if you want to support the channel, give it a like, and when this goes up on YouTube, subscribe to Water Circle Forward Punch, with my friend Rossi Reacts, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys.